stick around for a great continuation of our conversation on the things that we give up for love with a bunch of very funny people right after this. If you saw our last show, we had several comedians on to talk about the things that they had to sacrifice or were not willing to sacrifice in order to maintain their relationships. And guess what? We're back with them again, all wearing the same exact things they were wearing before, which means we're taping the same show back to back. Anyway, please help me welcome back to the show, Ms. Gigi Wong, Mr. Brian Kearns, and the Duke of County himself, Mr. Terrence Hawkins. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Views and Vibes again, guys. I haven't seen you guys in so little bit of time. Hey, that's what's hey, happening. Tariq, Tariq, don't you have musical guests on this show? I do. Um, why can't you have one of them make you a theme song? Oh, you didn't like my beat that I created by myself? <laughs> no, it sounds like you. Hey, it sounds like hey, you made Garage it yourself. Band is uh, Garage Band is nice, <laughs> that, man. Look, yeah, I got. You I did got that on Garage, garage Band on your like your. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of that it's either. It's just like boom, black boom, man boom, I've ever without a beat. Like he did. Hey, no the beat was hot. That was a lot of James Brown type of stuff right yeah, there. Yeah, totally, man. See, you just don't, you're just not up on that. I'm not up on the James Brown stuff. I guess we have to keep hook you up. So let's move into some deeper areas. You know, let's talk about the things that make you who you are. I've known people who've actually converted religions mm -hmm. in order to be in a relationship with someone, you know, and not just in a relationship, but to actually move forward into marriage. You know, so when you think about the things that you believe in, the, your belief systems, would you be willing to give up your belief systems in order to move forward into a marriage with somebody? Would you change the things that you believe in? Gigi, what about you? No, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? Why not? The whole the whole thing was I was thinking about the questions that you asked mm -hmm. you know would you give up this would you give up that I think that if you're with somebody who wants you to sacrifice something like that then that's somebody that you really not it's not gonna last mm -hmm. so pretty much you need to get with somebody that's that believes in the same things that you believe in. You're equally yoked. But you that's go. right. Equally that's yoked, you know. Right. Religion is deep because that's what gets you through life. Mm -hmm. You know, your best friend might not get you through life or your, you know, your aunt and cousin might not get you through life, but your religion gets you through life most of the time. And for you to ask me to sacrifice that, that's totally different. Mm -hmm. Would but you expect that from somebody else? Would you expect that? No, from no, no. It's not even a question no. to ask somebody. Mm -mm. No, because I'm so dug into my religion. Now, I'm not holier than now, but I do, you know, go to church on Sundays mm -hmm. and um, believe in God heavily. But um, I wouldn't be with a person right off the bat if they didn't. That's something that you need to discuss before you even get serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, a lot of people yeah. just get together and hang together and, oh, I like him and this was good and that was right. good. But y'all haven't really dug into the things that make you who you are. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get into those things that you can't see if you're going to last with this person because their character is not, you know, it's not, it's it's not like yours. Right. You're not compatible. Right. <clears throat> so even if you start out not, not doing this or not doing that, eventually you can get to the point where you're like, I want to do that. Right. I can't give that up. So I think that's why a lot of them last for a couple years or they might date for that's six it. or seven years and don't get married and wind up breaking up. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know, you was never fully dug in anyway. Okay. How about you, Brian? Nah, man, I would have to get the praying hands tattoo uh, covered up, maybe turn it into like a foam finger or something. Like I, I, a, I got, I got a bunch of religious tattoos, man, and they come with me, and that, that's, uh, that's what I have those. But my wife, my wife actually didn't believe in God whenever we first got together, and um, and then she got a tumor on her butt, and then it got removed, and then and then she's better, so Where's now she, she believes in God. I got one. No, oh, no, it was, it was like a, it removed. was like a I mean, birthmark, and uh, she, where'd she get it done? George Washington. We'll, we'll talk after the oh, show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk after the show. I got one. I need removed. 
Wow, okay, so butt pro- tumors. So she, so before, yeah, before the butt tumor, she was, um... <laughs> she, yeah, she didn't believe in God, but I, I didn't judge her for it. Like, right. that, what kind of Christian would that make me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I liked her, I loved her. So you um, still want to move forward with her? Yeah, I'm still... You were demanding it, that she... She wasn't a bad person. She she did the right thing for the right reason. She was kind and sweet and generous. Mm-hmm. Okay. And all the things that, that you look at, or that I see in my religion, she just didn't say it. Okay. And then once, once uh, she had her ailment... Um, she started saying it, and like that's cool. But I just, I trusted, I trusted God, and the. It's getting weird, man. It's getting, it's getting weird. Just count double check. Just count double check. What is that? All right, Terrence, oh, how wow. about you, man? Um, I don't, I don't believe changing, like I said, changing yourself for for any reason for anybody. Um. But is that really changing yourself, though? I mean, yes, it's, it's changing. Yes, it is. That's your religion you. is you. That is that your. Is that you. is your soul. That is your being. Um, because yeah. you have people who convert all the time for but, different reasons. But what I do is, they ain't dug in, man. I would yeah, say religious reasons, man. It's not like, hey, Tamika likes me, so I'm gonna not <laughs> believe in Jesus right. no more. Like, then you die, and then you right. get judged, and Jesus is like, yo, man, Tamika was the devil, bro, and you <laughs> failed. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's like no way says, get yeah. a male to change his sex, his gender. You know, you always gonna be a man. Get a male to do. No. I don't want a man change his gender and they get the surgery and all that. And they I've had that's, two that's, before that's, a woman. That's, that's fine. Yeah, when they, I'm saying when they change it, so right. You but know, it's still. What I'm saying is the process. I use a lot of metaphors to explain my that. points. Yeah, you bring because up people Chaz don't Bono. understand me, so Chaz I have to use metaphors. <laughs> Chaz Bono. I got to use metaphors. You know what I'm saying? I have to use right. metaphors. It's, it's like, and the example it's like is, Chaz Bono. if it's a man who changes himself into a woman, he's always going to be a man. So it's like so that dude. Unless, unless he always, unless he always you feel like he's a woman anyway. You change your religion. Yeah, if you change your religion, so you're Manny? always going to be in the inside what you were before. So you're just faking for the person. They faking. Okay. All right. What about you, Terrence? What do you think? I'm not. I'm not going for that. Uh-huh. That there's no way possible. If you're not what you said, starting off evenly yoked, it's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm but, saying? But it did for them. It did for Brian and his wife. They were they were evenly yoked. She didn't know no better. She was never wow. taught. Okay. She was. No, she, no, but no, no. It was the opposite of that. It was the opposite of that. Religion. She didn't start out with a religion. She no, no. One, it was right. the opposite of that, man. She, she had religion, religion. She had religion crammed down her throat. Uh-huh. Oh, so she was, where, she, so was, she was she was she was Gigi's word. She was rebelling to the point where she's like, I don't like this. Rebelling, uh-huh. and then you know, I came into her life, and then things got good. So that's not right. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> things got good. Because you so came that's in. not the same thing. Then. <laughs> yeah, she, she, <laughs> no, but it is. I mean, she, she was she, rebelling. She I mean, was yeah, I mean, she, was, she didn't believe it. She wasn't there at first when they got together. When I when I would ask her, hey, do you believe in God? She would say no. Mm-hmm. And she, then and then it changed. She was tired. Right. It was she, in there, if you say she was browbeat with God and church and the whole religion thing her whole childhood, as an adult, when she got a chance to make her own decisions, she was like, "No, I'm not going to church." But I'm thinking, yep. you no, mean, I'm not I'm going Muslim, to Sunday like, school. No, 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 I'm no, a Muslim no. And my but husband could be, is a well, is when, No, I'm saying. Right. I, I'm thinking you're it. saying that you already have a religion. I'm a Muslim and he's a Christian and no, he wants be. me to it be a Christian. Be, it could be you have religion, you may not have religion, whatever. But you know how big the jihad would be in the bedroom. <laughs> like that would be all out war. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I see. <laughs> off the, what, that is retarded, Brian. That's Georgia's County, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, really? so okay. So you say that. So for the most part, you know, you guys are saying that no. you, know, you wouldn't do it. No. Um, in terms of change of religion. No. 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 no, way. no, no okay. No, You're no not way. evenly yoked starting off. It, it's not gonna work. You mm-hmm. gotta be, you gotta be evenly yoked. Mm-hmm. That's why, I mean, I did marriage counseling mm-hmm. from the time we talked about getting married. And marriage counseling, everything was put on the table. See, Even the remote. I'm in marriage counseling now. The remote counseling put now. on the table. Did y'all talk about the remote? And hey, the man, as long as she, she didn't ask me to hand it to her, she holds all the things. Uh, yeah, don't she? So did y'all <laughs> did y'all talk about the remote in these meetings? That's what I want to know. No, we did, we never talked about. Well, y'all the remote. might need to go back and see <laughs> who's supposed to do what with the remote. <laughs> I'm mad she sent you back to therapy, man. Right. You gotta go back I'm to therapy. I'm good. I'm good. So, so I, I'm currently in marriage counseling. And basically, we pay a lot of money to ha- for her to have a teammate. <laughs> to team up on me and tell me how bad of a person I am. And then, like, so we get there, man, first time, man, there's a doll in there. And I'm like, yo, when do we get to play with the doll? And she's like, we don't get to play with the doll. And I was like, I just want to point at the doll where I want my wife to touch me. <laughs> 
and they weren't they weren't having it, man. So so we're paying a lot of money to basically uh, she has she has a tag team partner. Like mm. they're they both. But the one time they got her, man, and it was awesome. And I laughed the whole time. <laughs> and then she came and got me again. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want to go back no more. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I started scheduling shows on He's Tuesday crazy. evenings at 7 o'clock. <laughs> so you don't have to go to marriage yeah, counseling. I, I, I'm actually missing marriage counseling to be here talking about <laughs> my horrible marriage. Stop it. <laughs> this is your counseling. Check. Stop it. This count double check. I'll take it. Oh my god. Oh, crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> where do you go from that? Follow that. Like, uh, you, you can't. You can't. I would never out. go on stage after this guy. That's just not gonna happen. I'm an animal, man. I'm an animal. I, I eat lunch for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I just had, I just had, a, I just had an epiphany. Okay. Hey, hey, Brian, we're um actually looking for a next character on Hanging with the Fellas. I think. Okay, y'all, y'all can, y'all can, can you know, network after the yeah, show. Yeah, it's already no, done. We're on the show. Maybe we gonna talk about butt tumors and then we can talk about. <laughs> hey, pretty much. <laughs> right. Get in line. Get in where you fit <laughs> in, sir. No, no we already over. got a meeting after this. All right. Yeah. Are we going to break anytime soon? Cause I'm losing control. I'm losing, losing all control. Yeah. We can, can we go to break sometime soon? We ain't gonna break until you pee yourself. Breaks go when I say they go. What? Hit it one more time with the discount double check. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get hooked up by All State right, Farm. Yeah. We are going to break. Let's try that. We're going to break right now. When we come back, we will conclude this conversation. At the end of the show, we have a special guest for you, so make sure you stick around. Welcome back to Views and Vibes, everybody. We are still talking about the things that we do in order to maintain our relationships, the things we sacrifice, the things we're not willing to sacrifice, in order to make sure that we keep the ones at home happy. And so we <coughs> talked about, you know, things that we do that are, that make us who we are. So we talked about religion a little bit. Let's talk about the things you do for fun. Let's talk about your hobbies. Certain things you do that you enjoy doing that your potential spouse or your spouse may not be that happy about. Mm. Would you be willing to give up certain things that you thoroughly enjoy doing with your own time in order to make your spouse happy? So for Brian, are, are things that you like, you know, hobbies that you have that you say, okay, I'm not gambling anymore because my spouse does not like that. I mean, what is it? Uh, I mean, I get. I am in basically my marriage is a totalitarian regime <laughs> where she says whatever I do, so I guess. <laughs> yes. I mean, no, no, man. I, I. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hobbies are there? Hobbies are the things that you enjoy doing, like maybe drinking, smoking, whatever. Things that you would do that you do do that you would have to give up to make your spouse happy. She will. She really wants me to quit smoking, like to the point where I snore in her face. So now I gotta sleep on the couch. Uh, my sleep number is couch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I guess I'm willing to do whatever she's, because yeah, yeah, she's, she wears the pants, man, because I'm a comedian and I decided to give him a job and not make any money for a living. So I'm like, yes, baby, can I eat at McDonald's today? And she's like, no, you had McDonald's last week. And I'm like, all right, baby, like I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Like, where you at? Uh, that's my life. How about you, Terrence? I mean, is there um, anything that you would have to give up, or that you were willing to give up, or that you did give up in order to keep your spouse happy? Nah, because she not giving up nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she give it up, I give it up. We got to compromise some way, somehow. And that's what it's all about, compromise. And, you know? and I'm, I'm going to say no. Mm -mm. Okay, not so there's nothing up. that you can give up because you know she's not going to. No, because I, I mean, I'm a big video game holic, and I love video games. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about... <clears throat> I will play video games for 28 hours in a day. Wow, that's, that's a lot of hours in, in a day. That, yeah, that's I, not add, even there. I will add hours to play video games. Wow. Just because I like video games. If mm -hmm. she asked me to give that up, she'd be back in Hampton with her mama. <laughs> Put her out. <laughs> what, about, what about you, Gigi? It's two things that um, I give up with my husband is um, one thing I don't give up that he wanted me to give up. And that's my hair weaves. 
You want you to he, don't like, he don't like he don't like tracks of that. I got you locks. Can, you should consider it. I have dra I have locks under here though. I know, but I, you sometimes should, the weaves. I sometimes I wear the locks. Sometimes I wear the weaves. Sometimes I can't help it. I just need See, a hit of track. This is a little hit of track right there. Hus your husband is five foot two. I'm just saying. And all he sees is your boobs. Like <laughs> he's got it good. Like what's your hair matter? Like duh. Like I'll give that up. Like have your hair however you want it. I can't see exactly. it anyway. Exactly. Get a that. foot stool That's so wonderful. I can so I can That's bury wonderful. my face in between. Between your boobies. <laughs> Is that allowed to be on PG County TV? Because I hope so. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> I always tell people white guys like boobies, black men like butts. I like butts too, until they get tumors boobies on them, more. and then I become a boob man. <laughs> Tune in to the last episode and hear how that happened. No. <laughs> or was that the this one? I don't even know. Yo, all blended together at this point. But that's that's the only that's thing. A, that's so basically so the only so thing. Your tracks are the one, that's and the, there's nothing else. That's the only thing really. That he actually do. Or well, some of my food sometimes. He want some of my food off my plate. Mm -hmm. And like, you not gonna get it. <laughs> no. I don't be okay. Bacon. Don't. <laughs> My bacon? We don't eat no. I tell you what. No, I tell you what. I tell you what. My bacon? I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke you out with my weave, son. I'm gonna choke you out with my weave. You mess with veggie my bacon. Veggie bacon. It has to be veggie bacon, cause we don't eat meat. Veggie bacon. Yeah, we don't. Is eat. there such thing as veggie yes. bacon? That sounds delicious. I really like green pepper bacon. Yes. I'm Look. good. I'm good. That's it. So, That's it. Okay, so Everything so so overall, no, Everything else is a compromise. You... Everything okay. else is a compromise. It's not that serious. And that's what it comes down to a lot of times. I mean, because I mean, from like what Terrence was saying, it doesn't sound like your wife is willing to compromise on anything. So, no. in order to combat that, you're not willing to compromise on anything. There you go. But if she was more compromising, if she was willing to say, okay, well, I know you don't like me. Uh, well, let me let me dancing not. on a pole. Then I'll stop let doing me, that for you. Let me you know, not be so <laughs> so drastic about it. It's things that we both have compromised. Okay. And and we both have said, you stop, I stop. And we both have given up things for each other. Like, mm. can you give us an example? Smoking. Okay. My wife used to smoke cigarettes, and I pretty much... Smoked what? Despise cigarettes. <coughs> uh, I don't care what my wife says. She ain't getting me off that pole. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can do. I took Carmen Electra pole dancing classes, paid big money for it. I'm, I'm up to a gold thong in, in my pole dancing classes. There ain't nothing that's going to make my wife give up the... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Okay. PG County. <laughs> <laughs> Good old PG County. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but but they compromised. Yeah, we we did compromise on the, the 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 smoking thing, and she she stopped stopped the smoking. Okay. And I really stopped drinking. I okay. don't drink, like, anymore. I used like to. since yesterday. No, 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 no. I I was a I was a um, a heavy drinker at a but point. But how long has it been since you drank? She all up in your drink. business. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I was at a party and no, he was no. drunk. <laughs> and then I was trying to sip you over and he stopped drinking. Now wait, now, now, wait a minute. I'm a social drinker. I'm trying to figure out what he's talking about. The last time I said to him, he was so up drunk. He was, like, he was birthday, all alone. You was, my, you was at my birthday. Before, oh, okay. before we go any further, Terrence, how long have you been married? I've been married for three years. Okay. How about you, Brian? Six wonderful years, guys. Oh, all right. <laughs> and how many in therapy? No. Um, <laughs> uh, just uh, actually, that just started two months ago. Okay. And you're already ducking and dodging the therapy. I don't think I need it, man. I think I think I'm perfect. <laughs> I, I don't I don't hit her. I, I don't cheat and I don't beat. Okay. I've all turned right, down threesomes. You. Turn them down. I'm like, no, no, thank you. Chicks be like, oh, you're hilarious. We want to take. And I'm like, no. I'm gonna go find a girl that looks like you on the internet. <laughs> And Thank you, it. and Gigi. How about you? How long are you married? <coughs> It'll be four years. Um, the 29th of January. Okay, all right. So you guys see so all three have years. Four years. <laughs> in uh, women, what is it with women and dates? If you see, if you see a woman in the grocery store uh, and she's got like a two-year-old kid, a date, and the first thing they say is, "How old is your kid?" Oh, 20, 29 months. The kids, the kids do. <laughs> <laughs> The kids too. I told don't you the date. look. Look, I don't care about your date. If you ask me today, how old am I? Five I am months. forty years old in fifty-five thousand days. No, I'm forty. Three no. years. Three you've been years. Born, you you've three been married years for three and years. Seven months. Okay. Women and dates are so we the, beat the, the, the you worst. You trying to be? You trying to be equal with me? You not equal with us? 
Nobody's equal. No, you're trying to beat me out. I said three years. I can't say that. He wants me to say three years because he's nobody's equal. No, I said I said three years. Three years. I said three years, and then you said you. This is your. This is your. GG. How long have you been married? It'll be four. It'll be four years in January. Today, God dag nabbit. You was. So you just three years. All right, guys, we we actually have to go soon. So can we please? Three years. What's funny? What's funny is this is gonna be like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Like they're gonna fall in love and dish their spouses. And no. <laughs> Her husband did over there just, cracking up. He is dying. He's like, that's, that's not happening. She's not going nowhere. That woman ain't going nowhere. Of, going nowhere. of comedy. Terrence. And I hate where, Angelina for stealing him. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, where can, where can our viewers find out more information about you? Oh, you can definitely find me on Facebook at Terrence Hawkins. Um, and then please like my fan page at Terrence Hawkins, the Duke of Comedy on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Um, Do you have a website? Instagram, yeah, and it's Terrence Hawkins, the, the, the comedian dot com. Okay. How about you, Brian? Um, you can find me in front of the 7 Eleven on Buckman Road <laughs> in Alexandria, Virginia. <laughs> hey, we don't know about that for Jordan's County. Oh, tell us okay. What, what city you, was? Then you, can, then you can check me out at BrianCurrentsComedy.com, which I don't update, but I am a part of a thing <laughs> called the Joke Slingers Comedy Tour, which that is updated. <laughs> so go to JokeSlingersComedy.com, or if you're trying to get tickets to one of my shows, go to 555Ticks.com. All right. Mm. And finally, Ms. Gigi. I always tell people because I'm on so many sites, just Google me, G E E G E W O N G, G G Wong. And uh, my husband and I have a Breakfast with the Wongs that's on YouTube right now. Okay, I definitely gotta check that out. And because I'm single, I can't come on the show, right? Um, we let single people come on there. Okay. You can come, but it just yeah. be weird. The day that <laughs> at the other girl's house, at the other at the producer's house. We had the single people coming in. Okay. But All the right. couples come to my house. All right. Okay, we have to go to break real quick, guys. When we come back, we have a special performer for you to end the show for us, so make sure you stick around. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed these past couple of shows where I was joined by the Duke of Comedy himself, Mr. Terrence Hawkins, Mr. Brian Kearns, and Gigi Wong. If you want to find out more about my guests, make sure you go to my website, viewsandvibes.com. But before we go, we have a very special guest for you today. Tonight, performing from our studio, but coming directly from Silver Spring, Maryland. Please help me welcome Mr. Jules Bland.
Truth will. 